All right, today I'm out here uh, getting ready to stain a deck. We're gonna be staining it with an oil-based product from Stain and Seal Experts. I'm gonna be staining it at Natural. This is a brand new Redwood deck recently installed by the customer and I'm getting it ready. We're gonna walk you through some of the process to you know, properly stain a deck like this to make it look amazing and make it last. Now, the first thing I'm doing, you're gonna see me, I got my three by four and my five inch sander. It's very important to sand the wood first with an 80 grit sandpaper. That way you open up the wood so it'll accept more stain. You want the wood to accept as much stain so it'll penetrate deeply into the wood. Brand new uh, wood typically when it's milled it's really smooth has like a mill glaze on on top of it and it doesn't accept uh, stain as well if you if you don't sand it so you want to sand it with an 80 grit sandpaper you're gonna see me sanding with my 3 by 4 sander the small areas I'll be hitting the larger areas with my 5 inch sander and once again using 80 grit I'm using a closed cell uh, 10 millimeter sponge and also um, and we'll be using uh, Echo silk and um going to be using echo storm to sand this with now you don't have to like over sand i am sanding like some of the corners and edges to have them nice smooth um edges and stuff too so i'm sanding some of this to um just give it a better look and a better feel but the uh, the main sanding you're doing is just quickly going over it to you know, basically rough it up and open it up so it doesn't have a smooth surface so it can actually accept more stain now i'm using an oil-based penetrating stain on this from uh, Stain and Seal Experts. I'm gonna be using a natural color because the customer wants it to look like um, redwood, doesn't want a lot of color to it. You do have to have color in your stain. You can't just put a clear on if you want it to be protected um, from UV rays and um, sunlight. So um, if you don't want it to discolor over time, you definitely want uh, a stain that has um, a pigment in it to give it some protection. I am using a penetrating non-drying oil product, so it's gonna penetrate into the wood. It's gonna add something to the wood, keeps the wood from cracking, splitting, splitting and checking over time. So. Um, I'm sanding it. One thing, this is a brand new deck, so you definitely want to test for moisture. Make sure uh, it's not, you know, too wet. So sometimes wood will come out, it's not kiln dried. It's extremely wet. If it's wet, it won't accept stain. This is a small deck, so I'm not going to be spraying. I don't want um, to any overspray oil or anything. I'm just going to be hand brushing this. Uh, brushing, it's important to get good penetration. If you were to spray, you would want to um, spray and back brush to get better penetration. But I'm going to be just brush really small. I uh, just got to do a little bit of masking around with some frog tape so I don't get it on the house. But um, other than that, we're good to go. I'm going to show you the sanding. We're going to sand it, then I'm going to dust it off, blow it off, and then we're going to begin applying the stain. So here we go. I'll talk a little bit. We got some, you know, um, lag bolts and stuff like that. You can just stain right over that. If you do have large hardware and stuff, like on a gate or anything, um, one of the great things about uh, stain and seal, it is a non-drying oil, so you could spray or brush stain right over the hardware and then later on just wipe it right off. It'll wipe right off with like a crocodile cloth, so you don't have to worry about getting it on the hardware. You don't have to worry about masking it off either. different types of oils you can you know, stain a deck with um, or even water-based products too. So water-based products aren't adding you know, anything to the wood to you know, increase the life of the wood, keep it from splitting, checking, um, drying out. Uh, penetrating oils penetrate you know, into the wood, add something to it, keep the wood fibers you know, soft, keep them from drying out, keep, will keep the deck from splitting and cracking you know over time so it's really important to use like a penetrating oil stain and seal experts penetrating oil never dries you know literally just keep penetrating over time all the way through it'll literally penetrate through the other side of the deck even though the other side of the deck you know isn't done one of the um things with building a deck like this if you have the opportunity stain and seal experts has a machine you can actually run all your wood through 
you know, saying both sides, um, all four um, edges, and then you can apply it, you know, right after you stain it. But um, not everybody has the ability to do that. So, so you now I'm just going to take um, dust this deck off. I'm applying the stain, I want to apply a nice heavy coat that's going to penetrate in the wood. You're going to want to really saturate it. Uh, and then it's going to penetrate pretty quick. Any excess, if there's any excess pooled on the wood, you're going to want to wipe the excess off. And you can actually walk on it you know, as soon as it's soaked in. So I'm just using a smaller cut-in type brush to work up against the house. It's taking my time, don't want to splatter anything. allowing it to penetrate and I'm wiping it off any excess so I just got to say this is really important because um, this happened to me in the past and it was a big mistake not wiping off the excess the customer called me a month later their deck was really tacky and was collecting dust and dirt if you don't wipe off the excess it'll never dry and it'll stay tacky forever collecting dirt um, showing footprints and everything so it's absolutely critical that you wipe off the excess stain of any oil-based stain you're using so water-based stains you don't have that problem but oil-based stains you know you do have that issue so whatever you do make sure you wipe off the stain and I'll tell you another um, handy tip that because you know a lot of the tips I give are from life's experiences. And I uh, went to lunch, put all our rags in a bucket next to the deck and spontaneous combustion. It was a hot summer day, the rags caught on fire, burned the grass, almost caught the deck on fire. Luckily I did it, but um, that was my experience with spontaneous combustion and balling rags up and putting them in a bucket. One of the really cool things about stain and seal and one of the reasons why I really didn't like using oil-based products is because the inherent dangers of fires and um, stain and seal does not have that problem because the oil that they use to, uh, for their products has a flash point. I believe it's like 500 degrees versus um, all other oils have a flash point of like, I believe it's like 90 degrees. And so, they'll spontaneously combust. Stain and Seal Experts products, it will not combust in your vehicle. Um, the flash point is so high, it's literally almost impossible for it to catch on fire. So 
one of the benefits, one of the things I like about stainless steel products.